right, so this week we're going to talk about um, finding your melody in other spots, okay? And yes, I've touched on this before, but I really want to hit it a bunch because I get a lot of hesitation from people. They may learn it one way, like say they learn it here like in this first position, and then they, they just don't want to learn it on the melody line or vice versa, or they never use the middle string to find any melody notes either. So... I just want to get you challenging yourself and working on that because we really have a versatile instrument here. Uh, and the way this is tuned, um, you can really do a lot of different things. So I want you to just listen to this and uh, then we'll talk through it. All right, so I played that first little line of Amazing Grace, and I did it in three different places, okay? And you might be going to yourself, well, why would I need to do that if I just, I just want to learn it my one way? Well, if you want to advance and um, challenge yourself and get a different sound, a similar sound using the same notes, but a different sound using variation, this is a way to do it. And I'm not talking about embellishments here either. That's a whole nother ball game. I'm just talking about finding your melody notes in multiple places, okay? So everybody I'm sure probably already knows Amazing Grace. Now you may not know that one. You may know this one. Right? But I bet you don't, I bet you haven't messed around with this one. And there's more ways to find it too. <laughs> but I just wanted to take a look at three here because this is something people neglect, okay? So you've got this first position, all right? So let's say you learned it there. And there's your first couple of notes. Well, I know that the open middle string is an A, and I automatically know that this is an A note. Now, if you don't know that, it's okay. You can do it by ear. You can just start finding your notes. It's the same note. So, so you go. You can hear if it doesn't sound right, okay? So, nope, wasn't high enough, Mandy. That sounds just like it, right? Okay, so start experimenting around with that. Now up here, I'm combining all my strings here. I'm sort of taking this long version, so we go, and shortening it down, right? So I just took the bass notes of the same, took the bass note, and instead of jumping all the way up here, I just found the same note down here. Now, this is my octave, my seventh fret. I know that's a D note, right? I know that's a D note. Well, I also know that this is an A, a B, a C sharp, and a D. Now, I want you to understand something. I don't read music. I don't know how to read music. And you don't have to. It's great if you can, but uh, you don't have to. And I only know the notes because I've played it and learned it. And, um, you know, after a while, you'll start going, boy, that sounds, okay, that's a D note. It, it sounds just like it. You can do it by hearing it as well. But um, I just want to encourage you. To use that variation. So all I did there to get this middle version was I just took it off the melody line and put it on the bass string. And then I didn't use every note. Like when I got up here, I just found it right here. Now 
now when I want to go higher, I've still got this string. So I can get the whole song right here without having to go all the way up here. And I understand some hesitancy toward it. At the beginning, you want what's familiar. And I understand that. And when you learn something a certain way, you're like, I don't need to play it another way. Well, if you're wanting to play a full arrangement, you want to make the song really nice. And maybe you want to play it for your friends or something or your family. Or at church, or any event, or, or whatever, a barbecue, anything. You want to play for people. Well, if you do the same thing, if you do the same thing over and over again, then it'll get a little monotonous. So, if you're not singing with it, let's say you're singing with it, that's great too. Then you just play your chords. Um, but if you're wanting to play an instrumental version of it, you need to get it in a couple of spots here. And you don't have to go all the way up into no man's land. You can if you want to, but you don't have to. Just get up here with it a little bit. Find it on your melody line. Find it over here in this first position. Then mess around some on the middle string too. Uh, find the entire melody on the middle string, okay? Just challenge yourself, <clears throat> excuse me. That's the whole point of this uh, lesson here. I want you to, at any level here, for anyone, okay, um, <clears throat> to challenge yourself, and you will see results, okay? All right, I'll see you next week.